Hi everyone, it's currently uh, Sunday, December 23rd at uh, 5.30 p.m. Uh, so Sunday evening in Tokyo today, the day before Christmas Eve. And uh, not sure if I'll post this video, but figured I'd catch some raw reaction. I, I came into the office and was doing some work uh, answering emails when I came in a couple hours ago. There's some mail sitting on my desk and one of the pieces of mail uh, sitting on my desk here. I don't know if you can read that, but it's from uh, Ross Ulbricht at the United States uh, Penitentiary in Florence, high security level. Um, haven't read it yet, so I'm not sure what he has to say, but uh, figured I'd uh, record it and get, uh, get my first uh, reaction and impression to it here. So. And as someone, for those of you that don't know, I did some time in federal prison myself, and uh, one thing uh, I have to say is Ross has a much nicer handwriting than I have. I, I felt bad about how poor my handwriting was. I spent my whole life using computers and not writing much by hand, so I have a really horrible looking handwriting, but Ross's handwriting is very nice. So uh, anyhow, his letter is uh, dated, uh, what, November 28th, so it took uh, almost a month for it to show up here in Tokyo. Um, November 28th, 2018 says, Dear Roger, I hope this letter finds you well. I was disappointed to never hear a response to that long letter I wrote you a while back regarding uh, Charter City. So actually, uh, I have his other letters. I have two desks. I have this desk and one more desk upstairs. I've had his letter apparently sitting on my desk. Uh, it's been sitting there for a year waiting for me to write the response because it was a very nice, uh, very nice letter. So, um, Anyhow, he says that he feels disappointed, so I, uh, I'm disappointed that I've disappointed him. But uh, was, I forgot how busy life can be in the free world, and it probably came, of a, came off as a ramble. Today I'm writing on a different topic, seeking your help. Despite your generous assistance throughout my legal battle, especially at first when very few were coming to my aid, uh, I have lost time and again in court. We gave it a great effort, but the deck is so stacked there's little chance of winning no matter how much money and talent goes into it. That's the truth. Uh, now my best hope is convincing the president to commute my sentence. To that end, I want to show him and the public that I have the support of the crypto community. With the support of Lynn and my girlfriend Caroline, we're putting together some short video clips of influential people in crypto. I would be honored if you would say a few words and uh, add your voice to the chorus. You can see what we have uh, thus far at freeross.org slash crypto dash support. If there's anyone else you think would want to, uh, you would want to be up there, please encourage them to make a clip to and send the, them to Caroline at uh, info at freeross.org. Despite losing the court battles, I'm more hopeful than ever that relief will come. Thank you for standing behind me all these years. It really means a lot. With respect, Ross. So that's... Uh, that's the email from, or not email, but <laughs> when's the last time you got an actual letter in the mail from anybody who wasn't in prison? Uh, I think today and today only. So, uh, anyhow, I guess I, I'm glad I recorded that. Uh, of course, Ross, of course I'll make a, a video for, for that for you. Um, as I've been saying from day one, people own themselves and they have the absolute right to put whatever they want in their own body. And it's the police, judges, and law enforcement agents that want to put people in jail for, for Trying to make themselves happy, uh, you know, the, the United States Constitution is supposed to guarantee people the right to, you know, the pursuit of happiness. Well, what are what's what is the entire point of using drugs? People use drugs to try to pursue happiness through, you know, biochemical means. Um, I don't partake myself in that sort of thing, but I should be able to with my own body, and everyone else should be able to with theirs. So, uh, anyhow, I guess I'll I'll wrap this video up with saying I would love to invite everybody to go and sign the petition at freeross.org. I signed it. Uh, there's more than 100,000 people have signed it so far, and uh, I would like to see that number get over a million because I'm sure there's at least a million people out there that realize that the war on drugs is a, is a war on, on your neighbor and a war on your children and your uncle and your parents. It's a war on everybody that uh, thinks they own themselves. So it's a war on all of us. So let's put a stop to that. And uh, of course I want Ross to be you know, given a pardon and let out of jail, but not just Ross, every single nonviolent drug offender should be pardoned and let out of jail. And uh, I'm not a, fond, a fan of politicians in general at all, but boy, if there ever was a politician that seems to do what he thinks is right 
and doesn't care about what the mainstream opinion is. Uh, it's Donald Trump. So, uh, Donald, if you happen to watch this, please uh, pardon not only Ross Ulbricht, but pardon every single nonviolent drug offender in the entire country and in every other head of state and countries outside of the U.S. Let every single nonviolent drug offender out of prison right now today. It's a, it's just a shame on all of humanity that peaceful people are being locked in cages for you know having a plant or a powder that makes people feel happy. Like this isn't making the world a better place. It's making the world a best, uh, a worse place. So the war on drugs needs to come to an end, and uh, I'm looking forward to that happening. So anyhow, please go sign the petition at freeross.org, and uh, share this video with a friend if you appreciate my message. Thank you all.